What are they trying to do? Heat this bathroom? I'm just not sure what that's about. They're like, oh, well, yeah, I don't have the $20, so I can't do it. And you know, because Chrome will get you home, I, I want to keep this looking shiny. And then I'm going to verify. Uh, this one here has got this thing sticking out here further, so I don't. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, I hate to twist that off there. That, that might suck. And uh, by the way, we are the true budget channel. I mean, I cut up all my old t-shirts for rags, so I don't know what you guys do. Show you more. I did the wrong thing and uh, got on Amazonian. <laughs> Welcome to RC Industry. Hey, it's Rick here. And I wanted to let you know that the psalmist in chapter 23, verse 3, said, He restores my soul. I don't know about you, but I need my soul restored. Hey, welcome back for another exciting episode of RC Industry. Uh, I was going to work, and it is, it's raining, you know. Uh, it hasn't rained in two months. And uh, this morning I needed to work on the truck, and now it's raining. So, we're just going to have to try to work on this the best we can and not get too wet. But anyway, um, yeah, this thing... Uh, She's a leaking the brake fluid out the back of the master cylinder. Let me show you. Yeah, see, I don't know how good you can see that down in there, but she's a running out the back and the dripping down here and uh, just making a, a general mess out of everything. So, I did the wrong thing and uh, got on Amazonian and ordered me a uh, master cylinder here that's supposed to fit on this truck. So I guess we'll see if it fits. Show you more. I really wanted to take and work on that today, but we're taking this on a trip Saturday to get something special that goes right here. So, uh, you know, and now it's raining, so I had to put that on. Uh, uh, well, raining more than it was. But anyway, so we got we. We probably ought to get some brakes on this because I actually got to, well, we got to drive into a state I don't like going into, and so I want to make sure all of the, you know, everything's working correctly. We'll just say if that does. So, anyway, all right, let's see, uh, let's take that master cylinder off there. You guys know how to do that. I don't know. Maybe I'll show it. Maybe I, I don't know. Show you more. Yeah, I hope these come off of here because that's going to suck if these twist off. And uh, by the way, we are the true budget channel. I mean, I cut up all my old t-shirts for rags, so I don't know what you guys do. But uh, anyway, let's see if these will come loose. I got me a line wrench here. And these are pretty well soaked down with uh, brake fluid, which I don't know if that's a very good lubricant or not. That one is not turning. Neither is that one. Okay. Well, I'm going to take my torch and heat these up a little bit and see if that works. Show you more. Now, I don't want to get this too hot because I've done that before and it explodes. Let's see if that helps any. She's coming loose. Now, see if this one will work. There we go. Alright, good deal. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and get these off of here and we'll take these nuts off and, uh, you know, we'll pull that thing off there. Show you more. I'll tell you what's the truth is. It ain't rained here since I drove home from the No Name Nationals and drove home all the way in the rain only to find out it didn't even rain at the track. 
So, uh, anyway, you know, that's just the way it goes for me. Uh, come on, baby. Man! Got me a, a nice hunting bird uh, extension here. And uh, people ask me all the time, say, why do you call that a hunting bird extension? Well, that's because I live here in Jasper, and I can work on a vehicle over in Huntingburg with this thing. It's so long, so that's kind of why. Oh, my gosh. Well, I may have to heat them up, too. Goodness gracious. I'd about say that thing ain't probably never been on fair either. I don't want to burn that. That could be bad. Oh yeah, this stay up there now. Now that that's cooled off. Let's see if we can get that off there. Oh, man. Okay. Well, I hate to twist that off there. That, that might suck. Oh. Well, hopefully it did something there. Yeah, she's moving a little. That side is. Mercy. This one up again. Oh, gosh. All right, they came loose. All right, let me get that off there. Show you more. All right, well, we got that off there, and you can see she's been leaking out the back. I'll show you on the master cylinder in a minute, but it's just been running down here, so we've got to do the right thing here. It takes brake clean. Clean some of that up, because, you know, this is. This is a brake component, and uh, you know, you gotta make it, make it cleaned up a little here. I mean, why not? Yeah. Oh, that stuff has gotten all over there. She's been leaking pretty good, guys, and gals. Yeah, you know, you gotta get this cleaned up a little bit. Got one of these fancy dancy little things here. Let's just kind of get this down in here best we can. Clean this thing up. Because we gotta make this like brand used. You know, what a mess. Probably ought to put some lacquer thinner on, wipe that down. But, well, we probably won't. Flavor of the day high heat ultra long lasting finish them hot days when you're getting on the brakes real hot. Okay, just like brand new, baby. Just, just like, like, just like, just like brand new, baby. Okay, now that that's restored to factory specs, let's see what we got for a, for a master cell. Show you more. Okay, well you can see that that there's the old one, and this here is the new one. And we hope it's a good one. I had about a 50-50 chance of this being a good one, based on past experience. 
So we'll see what happens. Now this is the first time I've ever bought one off of Amazon. Uh, and uh, this is a Dorman, which used to make good product. So we'll see. A master cylinder, blah, blah. This is a new master cylinder, it says. So it's not a rebuilt one. So hopefully they built it to be the same. Now she's a looking. These are in the same spots, and this looks like it's got the same, the same. But um, this one here has got this thing sticking out here further. So I don't. Let's see if it'll work. Show you more. Well, hey, sorry for the interruption in today's video, but I wanted to take this short opportunity to let you know about Shop RC Industry. Yes, you can go to Shop RC Industry and you can get you this trucker's hat. Order online today. We also have shirts, white, gray, and black. And wintertime is coming, so get you a hoodie. We appreciate any purchase you make on Shop RC Industry. You can go to the About section in your phone, scroll down to the very bottom, and click on that tab, and it'll take you right there. All the proceeds are going back into the builds here at RC Industry. Here at RC Industry, we're making it just like brand used, baby. And now, back to your regularly scheduled video. Okay, so one thing I did do that I didn't tell you I was going to do is I just put just a dab, a dab will do you, of lubricate right there. So the rest on this pin, because uh, you know after pushing on that five or six hundred thousand times, it can start to wear that cylinder down a little. But you we'll also keep it from sticking in case you have to pull it back off there. Now I hope this thing's going to fit. Look at that. That part went on there. All right, so let's see what we get here. I'm just going to run these on so that this master cylinder don't fall off. And then I'm going to verify uh, that uh, these fittings are the same because that's where we're going to get, get it in a ringer. I'm, I'm afraid if we ain't careful. So I, uh, once it's done like that, I'll tighten this up, and then we'll, uh, well, she's beginning to rain again, and we'll bleed this thing out of here. But I just want to make sure these fit. Come on now. Play friendly. Some of these things are metric, and some of them are different sizes, and that actually looks like that, that one's going to screw in. Let's see if this one will. Yeah. Okay. So that's all going to work. So I'm going to tighten this up. And then I'm going to get my little uh, bench bleeding tool and pipe it back up through here and fill it. And let's get the air bubbles out of this master cylinder. And let's button this up. Show you more. Okay. We're going to pour some brake fluid in this. Now I got this apparatus here. Uh, hooked up through these fancy little dude dappers and through there and we're gonna I'm gonna go in the cab and try to gently massage this through some cycles and pump some of this through here. And what we want to do is get all the bubbles out of it. All the air bubbles. So uh, I don't know if you can see anything where you're at, but you better just watch that and see if them bubbles come up through there. Okay, I think I'll top that off just a little bit. We'll begin to get the air out of it. 
one of the problems I didn't think about is these lines are kind of long, so I had to get all the air out of them first, but uh, I think we're getting there. We're, we're getting there. We still got some air down in here. Let me pump it a little bit more. Sorry, I had to go ahead and button this up. It just started pouring rain, and uh, I uh, didn't want to get any water down in there. That could be, you know, bad. So, uh, Right now, I'm just kind of, I mean, it's still raining, but it ain't like it was. It was pouring. So I just wanted to get some of that brake fluid, fluid or brake fluid off of there and whatever else would be on there. And we're going to, we're going to take some of this clear. And you know, because chrome will get you home, I, I want to keep this looking shiny best we can, you know. So yeah, we'll just, yeah, just put her everywhere. You know, let's put some on this side. Oh yeah, she looks brand new there now. Heck yeah, that's what we want right there. I wish I hadn't have got it on this. I didn't really want it on that. But hey, that looks pretty good. All right, show you more. Well, I guess the real question is does it have any brakes at all? butterfly things in there. I don't know if I can get it out of there. Save it. But, oh, I might be able to. It's pretty long threads, it looks like. But I'm just not keen on these. I, you know, if anybody wants them, holler at me. If you want to come and get them, you can come and get them. I don't want them. If not, well, I'll, uh, I'll try to put them on the market. We got about 30% chance of that working because the marketplace everybody says they'll be there. I'll be there. I'll be there in two hours. And then three days later, when you finally when they finally get back with you after you waited up all night for them, they're like, oh well, yeah, I don't have the twenty dollars, so I can't do it. You know, so that kind of stuff. But uh, you guys know how that is. Oops, I almost had it, I think. One side, yeah, see? That's what we got right there. All right, let me see if I can get that other one off. Show you more. I got them off there, but I see this little lip here. That's gonna happen. 
she's going to have to go back just a little bit there. Alright, I think we may be good to go there. Well, I got these things off. I guess I will put them somewhere. I don't know where, right? I'm out of room. Uh, but I don't want to get rid of them because somebody might want them. I, I think they look kind of cheesy personally. But, but, you know, hey, whatever. Okay, well, I think that's about going to do it for today's rainy day. Now, I will tell you this, that we have a live coming up tomorrow, which will have already happened by the time you watch this video. So I would suggest that you go back and see that because we're going to do some improvements under here and under the hood of this thing. Because um, I finally found out where the vacuum leak was, and that's all I'm going to say. But I will start the camera back up and take you with me whenever I go to pick up, you know, whatever's going on here. So, be sure and uh, come along with that. Well, hey, if you're watching this video, you're going to be seeing the Just stay tuned. It's, it's in this video. Just keep watching. Just keep watching. While we're talking about it, though, don't forget to go to, over to Face Pages and, uh, you know, get to uh, look up RC Industry and, you know, you can join that little, whatever that is. I put some videos on there once in a while. And I do my daily scriptures on there and, and some other things. Uh, so yeah, be sure and do that. And while you're at it, don't forget that uh, we're on Rumble, so you can go over to Rumble and you know you can give us some Rumbles. You know we've made a whole twenty-eight cents over there, so uh, you know maybe we can make thirty. Anyway, enough of that that stuff. Uh, yeah. So right after we quit talking here, we'll be back in the truck going over there. Show you more. Hey, well. It's day number two. <laughs> it's a little bit warmer today. So we're gonna take off here a little bit. I don't know if I'll film too much of it. I don't know when I get there if the person will even want me to film because we are going to another state. We gotta cross the border here pretty shortly. Well, probably take us about an hour to cross the border and then we gotta then we gotta travel a little further. So anyway, um, we'll see what happens. If I can film it, I will um, show you more. We better stop here and get some money because I may need to pay somebody something. So, anyway, all right, show you more.
Well, I think we must be getting close. Because we're coming. Destination will be on the right. My destination will be on the right in a quarter of a mile. Okie dokie. Well. We gotta look and see where we're even going. Oops, let's see. 9793. Your destination is on the right. 9793. Well, at least there's a... Oh, I bet that's it sitting right over there. And I bet that thing is too small. That thing doesn't look like the right size. We'll find out. Well, that's a bummer. That's a nice topper, but um, what are they trying to do? Heat this bathroom? I'm just not sure what that's about. That's a cool looking old building. Looks actually like they may still use it for something. That's interesting. Well, hey, uh, yeah, as you can see, we got a problem. So we had to stop here at the Casey's and get a five and five dollar and thirty eight cent bottle of uh, dot three. Because we got something a leak in here somewhere, and it looks like it's a coming out of the bottom of that. But that thing is tight. So I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna put some of that in there and limp this thing back home, and we're gonna have to figure out what's going on with that. All right, show you more. Well, hey, we made it back. That was about a 174-mile trip for nothing. <laughs> uh, we did buy some $5 brake fluid. Um, and uh, the funny thing about that is, is you saw all that where it looked like it was wet up there. I talked to Captain. There was nothing missing out of it. So I don't know what's going on. I'm going to have to figure that one out. Anyway, I appreciate you coming along and watching some of the progress on the old girl here. We gotta, we gotta get busy and work on the old brown bag over there. Uh, we did a live yesterday, and uh, when I went to take off out of here, why well, I did burn a little rubber with it, and you know, because it runs pretty good. And uh, when I went to hit the brakes, whoosh, brake pedal went clear to the floor, and I went shooting out in the street. Yeah, so uh, we got to figure out. <laughs> Yeah, figure out what that was about, so I don't know. Anyway, thanks for coming along. Don't forget to check us out on Rumble. Uh, Ricky Allen on Rumble. Give us a Rumble. And uh, don't forget to find look at us on face pages, Facebook. Yeah, Facebook. I think it's uh, RC Industry on there. And, uh, you know, we're on Pop Talk, and we're, uh, you know, we're just getting around everywhere. So, anyway, be sure and like and share. And, as always, we're making it just like brand used here, baby. Oh yeah, by the way, if you uh, you know if you know somebody that's got one of them things like this that will fit this truck, I'm wanting one. So look me up. Send me an email. I need it. Run to Lilla Run! Hi, baby! <laughs> <laughs>